If people aren't well, they really can't do their best work. And the people around them often can't do their best work. And nobody is very happy. So wellness is crucially important to the functioning and high morale of the university. Student well-being is the foundation for success, academic success, but life success. And so we recognized that there was a lot that we could do to support students in living well through the things that we do, the programs that we offer, um, and the way we help students think about and experience their time at the college. Since coming in 2004, I've noticed that students are showing less resiliency. I think we've seen an increase in students um, inability to manage stress effectively. And I think that is really what sparked a lot of our interest in trying to help them develop more healthy strategies for dealing with day-to-day -day stressors. I think from the very first day when students encounter us at orientation, we start promoting that flourishing piece. We, we do want our students to flourish as opposed to languish. So we want them to be like slinkies, where no matter how stretched they might get, they still come back to what appears to be a normal state. We also look at helping them understand that it's about a life of harmony versus a life of balance, where the stress could be here, but the reaction is more down here, which doesn't look like balance to any of us, but that's actually a very nice harmonious piece. And it's something that we hope the students can achieve. Right now, the badge of honor we always hear from students is, oh, I stayed up eight hours. Well, I stayed up nine. Well, I stayed up 10. We want to change that badge of honor to be the one that says, well, hey, I went and worked out and I went to bed at 11 o'clock and I still got an A. So I think we're really trying to change the focus from fear-based excellence to authentic excellence. So we don't want people to do things because they're afraid. We want people to do things because they really want to do it. And so I think the philosophy of Student Affairs and Campus Recreation is to make the experience outside the classroom as positive as possible and then we will say that that will make the experience inside the classroom positive. When students come to the Counseling Center feeling overwhelmed and stressed, I think just becoming aware that staying healthy not only helps our body but helps us emotionally, helps us in our relationships, helps us in our sleep, helps us in our concentration, helps us academically and that's what um, the studies about mindfulness show. It's hard for students at first I think to really slow down and focus on what's important to them and what's meaningful to them but once they're able to do so they're able to see that their lives are more than just whatever their grade is on their transcript or whatever their first job is going to be, but rather um, for them to really focus on what they find meaningful and fulfilling in their life, and I think that really what wellness is all about. One of the things that's been really important is student engagement and involvement in mental health. I think when I first came to the college, it was still very much seen as the counseling center's job to make everybody healthy and to support everybody's, particularly mental health. Um, and in that time we have been able to create committees and liaisons with other student groups that have allowed students to have direct input and to access directly information about mental health and wellness here on campus as well as national trends that they've been able to use to really create and proliferate their own messaging. Um, so that has been a huge change that our students are now our biggest advocates. Um, while they are still sometimes our biggest critics, I think that messaging is more of an engaged message um, and an involved message as opposed to it's somebody else's job to fix this. I think that instead of just trying to check boxes in terms of trying to just graduate with like this many credits with like this GPA, I think at William Mary it's more so how can you find both intellectual fulfillment because I think classes, like taking classes is what ties a lot of us like it's what brings us to college, but trying to explore different aspects of identity and different aspects of wellness, whether that be emotional, financial, physical, spiritual, etc., to achieve a more holistically fulfilling college experience. Dr. Kelly Grace really helped me clarify my values um, in a way that I just had never experienced before. So after that, I was able to view myself with more purpose and also I think something that he preaches is, you know, compassion can include yourself and um, in fact we are better equipped to take care of others uh, when we do take care of ourselves. I think that that's just a really special lesson that I don't know if I would have learned at another university.
Our approach is unique in that we are building not only a structure, but also we're organizationally set up to, to do that good work. Through a reorganization in my division, for example, we created a thematic area of health and wellness and brought together units that before were reporting to four different parts of the division, and now they all report directly to one AVP for health and wellness. That in and of itself is a new position. And since Dr. Crace has been now in that role, he's doing amazing things and pulling together the threads of well-being, and not just within the departments that report to him, health, counseling, uh, campus recreation, and health promotion, but also being an ambassador for well-being to student groups, to faculty groups, and helping to talk about this as an institutional culture change, not just a change in the student culture, but that for William & Mary to embrace well-being means we all need to have an understanding and a commitment to what that means. Right now, because of where the Counseling Center and the Student Health Center and the Campus Recreation Center and Health Promotion are situated physically on campus, it lends itself to the idea of detachment between those kinds of wellness. Um, and I think once we are all in one space, one of the things will happen is people will begin to think about physical wellness, mental wellness, health promotion and recreation as more integrated things in one's life. You know, so that'll be a kind of a natural outgrowth of the building. I believe we're, we are expanding definitions of wellness across campus. So my hope um, for the future and going into the Integrative Wellness Center is that we will inspire students to think broadly about what it means to be healthy. So sometimes we think of health as sick or not. And my hope is that we're moving towards a model where we encourage students to think about everything that goes into being a healthy individual. I've had the opportunity to serve at other institutions before. I admit it, I've been at William Mary longer than some of those places, but I will tell you this. The culture as a whole is about making a difference. It's about being leaders and taking that step to be at the forefront. And that's what I think is really special about William & Mary, and that's what's special about this project as well. I think William & Mary wants to be recognized as the leader for health and wellness in this region, in the state, and probably the country as well. And we want students and staff to be part of that process, and that's truly exciting. I'm so honored and so grateful to be working for an institution that has, um, that has this level of commitment to, to well-being, um, from the president's support to our board of visitors who have stood behind this and, and who have wanted to learn and understand um, what it is that we're trying to do, um, to our donors who are supporting the construction of the new building as well as various programs. We have parent support behind some of our initiatives re related to student well-being and most importantly we have student support. Um, so when you, if you think about students, faculty, and staff, and senior leadership, and alumni, and parents all coming together committed to this idea that William & Mary students should be the models of excellence and well-being going hand in hand, what a wonderful thing that is.